what is up YouTube. So I'm here sitting in front of my gym, waiting for it to open. This will be my last workout of 2022. And I'll have my jujitsu practice later in the day. That'll be my last practice of 2022. And I'm making my last video of 2022 because we're about to be going into 2023 next, uh, we're going into next year, <laughs> uh, tomorrow. And uh, I've been thinking a lot about where I wanna bring this channel and how I can help you guys. And I wanna just give you guys my last message of this year to get you guys thinking about where you should be focusing your attention. Uh, you know, when I was 18, I was really focused on my fitness and my health and eating right, working out and all those types of things. And I really couldn't afford it at the time. You know, gym memberships for things like jujitsu were $150. A membership to work out would be like 20 to $30 or could be more if I went to certain gyms. Um, and eating right really cost a lot of money. It really could cost even like $150, $200 a week. And when you're young, you don't always have that kind of money. So I was obsessed with fitness and working out at that age. And I quickly realized that I really couldn't afford to be obsessed with that. And that was kind of how I started my business. I was like, okay, well, I can't afford anything. It wasn't even just fitness. It was like, you know, if I put money towards fitness, I had no money for anything else. Um, and I just had to learn to make money. So that's what I started doing. And I became obsessed with my business. And, you know, it was about 10 years later. Now I'm 30 and I started jujitsu. I've gotten really back into my health, uh, my fitness and all that and i'm obsessed again it's like you know i'm right back to where i was when i was 18 and um trying to work out a lot and keep myself at the the top level that i could be physically and what i want to share with you guys today is how important it is to be obsessed with what it is that you want to do um, you have to wake up every single day wanting to do it and if you aren't obsessed with what you're doing, then it's probably not worth doing. And if you, for any reason, can't become obsessed with what you're doing because of financial reasons or time reasons, then it's probably not worth doing. And you probably have to find something else to work on that will allow you to become obsessed with the things that you want to do. And whatever it is you decide to work on, you need to be obsessed with that. You need to come up with the reason that you are doing it, that you are going to be obsessed with it. And this could be working, it can be working out, it could become get, be getting smarter. You know, if you choose to go to school or something like that, then you need to be obsessed with going to school. You need to take extra classes so that you can graduate faster if that's what you're trying to do. Or if you're doing some learning some kind of skill or trade, you need to find side work that you can become even more proficient in what you're doing. It's the most important thing that you can do is become obsessed with the things that you wanna do. Um, and I think a lot of people are really scared to be obsessed because you realize once you start getting obsessed with something that you are committed and almost obligated to do what you are doing, what, and the extra things that come with it. You know, um, I started off with jujitsu a few months back and I was like, you know, I need to work out extra. I need to have an extra strength training workout if I'm going to sustain my training in jujitsu with no injuries. And I decided, hey, I'm gonna join another gym. And because I waited till I was able to obsess over it, I was able to afford going to these extra gyms. I've changed my diet. I started doing um, a keto kind of diet, not fully keto, but uh, a very low carb kind of diet. Um, and that gets pretty expensive. But because I obsessed in my 20s over being able to afford to live, I'm able to do that a lot better. And you almost have to be able to take this like long-term approach to it of like, you know, just because I can't do something right now doesn't mean I can't start working on being able to do those things. Um, and I guarantee if you can figure out at least one thing that you're willing to obsess over that you can afford to do and you start doing it, then you will improve your life because, you know, these things multiply, they compound over each other. And when you start making small improvements in one area of your life, it's going to be easier to find 
ways to improve in other areas. Also, because of how things change for you when you start improving, you're going to present yourself better. So even if you're not making a certain amount of money right now, if you start working on improving yourself, you'll be able to find the opportunities to make the money that you need because really personal development is expensive. And if you can't afford all of the things that are so publicized right now, you know, eating right, working out and all these things, because I understand it's not always easy to afford. You can start working on improving so that you can afford those things because it is important that you can afford those things throughout your life. And it's important that you have the skill set to always be able to afford to live. Um, and then, you know, once you are able to do that, you can begin putting that energy towards the things you actually enjoy doing and improving your life in a way that is physically noticeable and is going to really add to your confidence and self-esteem. So going into 2023, this is what I'm going to be talking a lot about. Um, I don't think it's as difficult as it may, as it may seem. I do think that a lot of people promote, you know, going into self-improvement or physical fitness without really considering all of the things that you need to do beforehand in order to make it an enjoyable process. Not that it always has to be enjoyable, but you shouldn't be so focused on how can I afford to do this that you can't even put all your energy towards actually doing it. Um, and I really do want to help you guys understand that there are ways around all of these obstacles that you are going to encounter on your development journey that everybody does go through them. Not everybody talks about all of these other obstacles that come up. Um, and I want to help you guys get through it. I hope you guys have a great new year. Uh, I hope you guys really did set some type of resolution, either that or tomorrow morning you start, maybe just go out for a run, get your day started. And then on uh, January 2nd, hopefully you guys wake up and go join some kind of group that allows you to start working, uh, start working on yourself, working towards your goals or fitness. And if you can't afford that, maybe go find a job that's going to allow you to make the income that you need, build the skill sets that you need to improve, and maybe even start working towards like a skill set that will allow you to open a business one day. Because there's so many options out there for improving your life. It's not linear. And I want to just help you guys get to where you need to be because I know the struggle and I know it's possible to break through all these barriers that come up. Again, I wish you guys the greatest New Year's and I will see you in 2023.